The Hartway Association of the European Society of Cardiology has come a long way from, well, reflecting heart failure as a relatively small specialty within cardiology to the center of cardiology. So in the beginning, we just had diuretics to relieve symptoms. And then we built on eight life-saving therapies to um, improve not only symptoms, but also survival of our patients. Just recently, in the last decade, we have now moved also into acute and particularly advanced heart failure. To reflect that, back in 2007, we had written the first consensus definition paper in this regard that was back then chaired by my good colleague and friend Marco Metra. So now, 11 years later, it was time to reflect the even more specific progress in the field in a new position paper. First of all, we have published this online now, as of today, at the European Journal of Heart Failure to coincide with a meeting that we had in um, Vienna here at the Heart Failure Association Congress. We changed a bit the criteria in as such that we included a statement on heart failure with preserved ejector fraction on comorbidities. And we also incorporated the guideline criteria of 2016 in advanced heart failure. So it gives you a new update on diagnosis, but most importantly on treatment. We a little bit tempered our voice on inotropes which are more or less more palliative treatment because there is definitive outcome assessment was underway and uh, has failed to show that patients have a substantially long-term benefit from inotropes. So that's reflected in the new update as well as the recent progress on mechanical circulatory support on short-term, particularly ECMOs and others, and we've also given advice uh, when uh, is the right time to uh, implant a bridge to bridge, a bridge to decision device in patients with advanced heart failure. And um, this also specifically addresses recommendations with regard to the ventricular assist devices and not to forget heart transplantation. So overall, this new uh, consensus document um, expands our, uh, reflects the expansion of our knowledge in diagnosis and treatment in the field and uh, points out some uncertainties, some unknowns, but gives clear criteria now uh, for um, this uh, deadly disease and um, clearly uh, outlines how to best treat these patients. And um, um, this is uh, a clearly a, a step forward in advanced heart failure. Thank you so much.